Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any Rocket League items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. In this series, I'm going to be trading up to the exotic black tunica wheels currently worth 23,000 credits and I'm going to be starting off with 100 credits. As well as making profit for myself, I'm going to be giving away secret tips and tricks so you can make thousands in credits for yourself. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if this video helps you and let's get straight into the episode. After selling basically all of the items in our inventory, we've got pretty much pure credits to work with and buy loads of items. And in the first trade, I'm going to be picking up both a white Fennec and a black OEM for just 2,660. Now, the prices have changed since this trade, but at the time, I believe the white Fennec was 1.8k minimum value. It's actually now at 1.9, and then the black OEM was valued at 1.1k, which it still is now. So if I can get both of those items sold for their minimum values, then I should be making roughly 240 credits profit which is pretty easy as both of them have very high demand so loads of people are looking for those items but i'm also picking up a forest green pink and burnt sienna zomba Okay, 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 I'm sorry for pausing the video, but just before we get into the next trade, I'd like to talk to you about the insane giveaways that are going on in my Discord server. Firstly, every 1,000 subscribers of White Octane will be given away, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As soon as we hit 25k, a White Octane giveaway will start in that very Discord server, and all you have to do is join the server using the link in the description down below. I apologize for interrupting the video, and let's get back to the trades. This trade was found through RL Garage. I've got a post up listing for almost all of the painted zombies. I'm not offering for Burnt Sienna, but this guy had Burnt Sienna, so I just said chuck it in. I'll give you another 200 credits, but I was underpaying 100 credits each for those items. Again, zombies have such a high demand, so I should be able to sell both the forest green and pink on for their middle values, getting 150 credits profit for each one. And Burnt Sienna, I might have to sell for the minimum value because it is the worst paint in the game. I also managed to pick up two fire gods. Again, 100 credits below the minimum values for each of those. I I like underpaying by 100 credits. It's a nice round number and it's also a decent amount of profit that adds up over time. So I'm always looking to make 100 credits profit at least per item just because I'm trying to get the black tunicas as quick as possible. Also, I traded my white fennec for 1.7k and a chameleon. I was looking for 1.8k or an item overpay. It's always a good idea to open yourself to item overpays because if people don't have enough credits for your item but they really want your item, then they might just add an item so they can get it quicker and you still make profit. So it's technically a win win situation as i've mentioned selling on that pink zombie for the middle value of 450 credits i always try and sell zombies for the middle value because as i mentioned they have such a high demand loads of people are looking for them so if you can try and get a little bit more every time that you are selling one on and also again fire god selling it on for the minimum value now right now not too many items have a great demand because the market is still pretty dead so for the most part i would just suggest selling your items for their minimum values to save yourself a little bit of time and also again the white fennec it is so good for making profit i'm picking up another one it's only 100 credits below the minimum value but it is so easy to sell i'll have this sold in five or ten minutes and it'll be such good a profit into my inventory and all oh my days this next trade was genuinely insane okay so first of all i thought this guy was gonna scam me when you see a white certified mainframe just make sure you're not getting scammed because people sometimes swap it out for the unpainted variant with the same certification it's quite a common scam but this guy legitimately gave me the white mainframe for around 9,000 credits is valued at 11.5k. That is 2.5k profit if I can get it sold. That trade was insane. Sometimes you will get trades like that and I'm trading every single day, hours on end. So uh, out of all people, I'm most likely to find trades like that. I get it might look a little bit fake, but trust me, I've just got the white mainframe for about 9k. Completely legitimate. It might be a little bit hard to sell because right now the white mainframe doesn't have a great demand, but I should be able to find around 11k for it which is a ton of profit over 2000 credits which is insane i'm going to be selling on in this trade here i also did pick up another painted octane 100 credits below the minimum value i believe but i'm selling the white mainframe on for 9.1k and a black jewel in dragons in total i believe this added up to 11.4k at the time i wanted a little bit of credits and also items because i have quite a low leveled account i can't put in more than 10,000 credits per trade so i 
had to get a little bit of an add as well. So I was looking for 11.5k pure, but I'll definitely take that anyway. I can't really complain because I am getting a ton of profit anyway, but... I'm just going to go on to sell that black jewel in for about 2 point worth, 2.3k, I believe that is the minimum value. Anyway, I also sold on my orange auction for around the minimum value and also a golden series exotic, which can sell for around 150 credits as well. So a little bit more profit. Right now, I'm just trying to clear up my inventory and get back to having pure credits just so that I can manage my inventory a little bit more and sort of see where I'm at in terms of credits. Just because my inventory has changed so much recently, especially with that white mainframe trade, but I've got a load of new items in my inventory that I want to clear out as well. I don't really know how easy they are to sell because a lot of them I haven't really had too recently but again I'm still going to be buying items into my inventory because as I've mentioned the market is pretty dead so I still was struggling to sell items at this point but I'm only really buying items into the inventory that I know are probably pretty stable and aren't going to drop. I do manage to sell on the Black Jewel in Dragons for a little bit of an item overpay. I believe his items added up to around 2.5k at the time with the White Zone was coming in at 2.1k minimum value. I also just wanted to get rid of my jewel in dragons because it's not that easy to sell. So I think I was selling it for maybe two hours before I actually found an offer. So I'm happy to just get rid of it and then I can go on to sell the white zombies and the shattered. Theoretically, they should be a little bit easier to sell than that black jewel in dragons as well. Again, clearing out the inventory with the black OEM being sold on for 1.1k. That is the minimum value. I believe I'm making roughly 150 credits profit on the item. I'm buying it pretty much in every single episode i've also mentioned in every episode that both black oems and black stones are so good for making profit a lot of people struggle to sell them so i can pick them up pretty cheap black stones i buy for around 650 black oem i buy for around 950 and then i just sell them on for their minimum values again clearing out the inventory we're just getting rid of all of the items very very slowly but at least i am getting rid of them white standard i was selling on for 1.4k as well again that is the minimum value i might have been able to look for a little bit more but for some reason the white standard is actually a little bit hard to sell i uh, i find that other painted standards such as black crimson and sky blue a lot easier to sell but for some reason white is just quite hard to sell i can't really explain it but um yeah as i mentioned i can't really get any of the other items in my inventory sold i thought forest green zombie would be quite easy to sell unfortunately it wasn't so i go back to buying items making sure that i'm still making profit and progress because i am trying to get these black tunica as fast as possible i do manage to pick up both crimson and sky blue octane 100 credits below their minimum values each and then five minutes later i get a really really good offer with the white tactician fennec now keep in mind i only paid 1.5k for these octanes the white fennec is already worth 300 credits more but uh, the tactician certification actually adds quite a bit to the price it's one of the best certifications in the game so i'm going to be trying to get around 2k to 2.1k for that white fennec which should be around 600 credits profit uh, as i traded just my painted octanes which i paid 1.5k for and then also picking up two more fennex again one of them is going to be tactician so i am actually going to try and find around 550 to 500 credits for this item as well and then the other fennec i'm just going to be selling on for i believe the middle value at the time for 400 credits now i've got to say the inventory is changing very very quickly i'm getting so many good trades which i'm not going to complain about but it's a little bit hard to follow even me just watching this video back now but um yeah i've made so much profit especially with that white mainframe and also that tactician white fennec when i do sell it on i've bought and sold so many items in this in this episode rather don't know what i'm saying but uh yeah i've made a ton of profit and uh, i've got to say this episode is definitely one of the best in terms of profit so far i'm also selling on both a tactician fennec and a shattered in at the same trade so getting roughly 550 credits for that item as well which i said earlier is what i was looking for and then i do trade on the white tactician fennec now white zombies had dropped down a little bit by this point they were 2k minimum value so i am getting uh, the 2.1k i believe which is what i was looking for for that white tactician fennec anyway and uh yeah it might be a little bit hard to sell on those white zombies but i've got to say selling on a tactician white fennec was definitely not easy it took around a couple of hours and also i'm getting lucky i am selling both of my painted zombies in this trade it's going to save me quite a bit of time i won't have to find separate buyers for both of these items and i don't really want to have to sell on burn sienna zombies and find another guy 
guy because they were not easy to sell whatsoever. And I have also mentioned previously that you should sell on your painted zombies for their middle value. Unfortunately, it was taking me way too long to find that middle value. So I did drop down to the minimum value. That might have to be something that you guys have to do as well. If you can't find the price you're looking for, it might be worth dropping down to the minimum value because you want to make sure that you are prioritizing your time as well. Don't try and spend too much time selling on a one item. But that is going to bring us to the end of episode 5. I really hope you have enjoyed. And the inventory is currently sitting around 16,000 credits, which is insane for only episode 5. That is over 3,000 credits profit on average per episode, which is, like I mentioned, insane. But anyway, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Me.